Hello, Nashville. Welcome back to Entertainment Circle. I am Shayla Paz, and I hope that you had a great weekend. It was beautiful. I got a chance to take a walk around the neighborhood, and I know I don't know if you saw my post. I hope you did about the um, uh, the place that closed down on Music Row uh, uh, Idol Hour. It's a, um, it was a historic place that was knocked down on 16th Avenue, but they're gonna reopen. But it's not exactly on Music Row, but it's kind of in between, you know, it's in between 16 and 17 on Grand Avenue. So I can't wait for it to reopen. So, because I know a lot of local artists uh, perform there. So they have the Songwriters Night and all that. So I, I enjoy going to that. Bienvenidos a Entertainment Circle. Yo soy Sheila Paz. Y hoy estoy aquí con un artista de country, pero eh, quería comentarles que no sé si vieron el post que puse este fin de semana. Tuve la oportunidad de caminar por, por mi barrio y este un local donde muchos artistas se presentan aquí localmente, Bobby Idol Hour, lo desbarataron, pero va a abrir en otra locación nueva que está en Grant Avenue entre la 16 y la 17. Entonces, técnicamente todavía está en Music Row. Bueno, eh, mi invitada de hoy, no hay el ruido porque yo oigo ruido. Bueno, espero que no, porque están cortando la hierba por algún lado. Eh, mi invitada de, de hoy tiene eh, muy, millones de airplay, es una compositora ganadora de eh, Grammys y una gran amiga. Uh, my, in, my guest today, I, I don't know why I'm choking over words. What's going on with me? I don't know. Anyways, maybe I need some water. Hold on a second. Hold on, Deb. Okay. <clears throat> Better now. My guest today, multi-million airplay songwriter, award-winning recording artist from Nashville, my dearest friend, Deborah Allen. Hello! Hello! So excited to be here. <laughs> you, you're so beautiful. Thank you. You too. I'm so happy to see you. I don't think that I have not seen you in four years. It's crazy. I don't know how that time has slipped away from us, but I know that you travel a lot. And so yes. That's Yes. That's incredible, you know, and I love to travel too. I can't wait till it all opens back up. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know, right? We, I'm in one plane and then in the next one, and in between I try to do the show and, you know, trying to stay up to date with everything. But, you yeah. know, it, it, this thing uh, allowed me to be in contact with people more often because I'm here, <laughs> and I feel, hey, why not do Facebook Live every day and keep people entertained and connect with my fellow artists, and, you know, here we are. I think that's awesome. You know, I've really been enjoying it too. I probably could have been doing more of it, but I'm kind of starting to catch on to it and really enjoy it because we're able to connect with uh, country music lovers all over the world just at one time. So that's yeah, cool. this, is, this is a change in the a change in the game. You know, it's streaming. Uh, I remember four years ago I was covering the country music uh, festival, and I was doing Facebook Live from the street and it was just starting yeah. so this is just like a continuation of it yes and i'm so thankful thank you for inviting me to be on your show i think you're you've got, welcome you've got a great show oh you're so sweet um so i you've been writing right yes i never stopped writing at all that's good I'm constantly writing um you know i, I I've written probably over about 2,000 songs in my lifetime. And wow. It always surprises me when I write one more because I'm like, what else could I possibly write about? But, you know, actually, um, you know, when everything got shut down with the coronavirus and everybody was staying at home, this is kind of sad. I, I don't want to start it off with a sad topic, but uh, I really wasn't in the mood much to write at all. I was just hanging out at the house, but I woke up one morning. Well, let's see they announced that our wonderful Joe Diffie, you know, had come down with the coronavirus. Uh -huh. And um, I was praying for him to get well, you know, like all of us were. But then two days later, they announced that he was gone. And I think that that was just such a jolt to my body and yeah. to my heart. And 
I didn't even realize what a jolt it was. I mean, I was super sad, but I woke up one morning with a whole passage uh, written. And um, and then I the, I went out and I read it to my husband, Raymond Hicks, and I, I read it to him. And he said, that's really beautiful. And so that kind of triggered it in my heart to go ahead and write some more. So I wrote some more words. And then mm -hmm. a couple of days later, I thought, well, I might as well put some music to this. So I put yeah. some music to it. And uh, then I started searching the internet for pictures of Joe with a lot of friends. And even if it's super, super rough, it's like a demo. It's like, it's really not even a demo. It's more like a work tape, but it's out yeah. there it's on YouTube, but it's called, Why'd You Have to Go, Joe? Oh, that is not the one that you sent me, did you? No, no, no. The one I sent you uh, is uh, more upbeat. And I'm sorry to start it off with that, but I was just thinking. <laughs> Okay. When, you said, when you said you're writing a lot, I was thinking, well, actually, that actually the very last song I wrote was about Joe Diffie because I love oh. the last time I ever saw Joe, to be honest with you, I was getting my hair done and oh. I, I looked over next to me. I was getting my hair washed and I looked over next to me. I go, that guy looks familiar. I went, hey, that's Joe. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> funny. Our hair washed, talking to each other. He was so sweet. I love Joe. I know everybody loved Joe Diffie. Yeah, I'm sorry for your loss. And uh, a lot of people have lost a lot of family and friends uh, during this pandemic. Yes. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a shame that a lot of people don't take it seriously, you know, mm -hmm. and yeah. I talk about it every day and I feel like, uh, I'm a, uh, <laughs> I'm just tired getting people tired, uh, talking about it, but I, I'm trying to get the message across that, you know, you need to take this serious and, you know, I know that you, we all going to die, but there is no need to die too soon, you know? Yeah, we want to go to heaven, but not tomorrow. <laughs> exactly. We got to We want to wait. We're gonna have a road, a, a long road ahead. Exactly. Uh, it is, it's kind of a sneaky uh, thing because it's it's invisible, you know. And mm -hmm. we do start to feel a little bit more relaxed, but then we have to be reminded to to stay vigilant, washing our hands, don't touch your face, and you know all of that. So, but I am glad to see things opening up. Yeah, yeah, slowly for sure. Yes. Uh, so let's talk about this other song. Uh, okay. Well, let, let's play it, oh, and good. then and then we'll talk about it. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. Okay, Perfect. so here we go. Uh, okay. Here we go. What a world, 
world this can be. I'll bring your coffee to you, baby, just as sure as you bring my tea. When we fuss and fight, it just pushes us apart. All those hurtful words just serve to break our hearts. Love and only love can bring us to our knees. We could learn a lesson from the birds and the bees. What a world, what a world. As you will be for me. What a world, what a world, oh, what a world this will be. What a world, what a world, what a world, what a world, oh, what a world, what a world. It really doesn't matter, red and yellow, black and white. We're just you. So, so um, I don't know, happy. Um, I recognize a few faces in there. Billy Dean, yeah. the Kenny, the Bellamy brothers, and I, there was somebody yeah. else, but I couldn't come up with the name. Uh, how oh, did you get oh, them involved? Well, they're all good friends of mine. Like they love you, and and we've and we've gone back way a long time too. And uh, so, let me. I'll just tell you how this all got started. You know, we were just talking about being under quarantine a while ago. And, you know, how our minds started working a little different. So one day I was in quarantine here at the house and I was like, I just got to get out of here. It was pouring down rainy. So I cruised by Starbucks and got me a Starbucks. And I had written my words out on this big pad and I said, hey, y'all want to sing my song? They go, what are we going to do? And I said, you can sing my song. And I held up the words and they started singing and dancing and it really lifted my spirits. They were so cute. So later on at lunch, I went by uh, Chick-fil-A and those little girls were standing out in the rain, you know, with their umbrellas and I, they were so excited to go along with it. Later on, I was running out of gas, so I went by Costco's and filled up with gas and made a couple more friends. And later, I went to Stroud's and, and met that old guy in the window. It was just so much fun. I thought, man, people are having fun with this song, and that's what we really need right now. There was so much sadness going on in the world. And so uh, a couple of days later, I, I dressed up in my boho stuff. I went up my closet and just started raiding this and that and throwing clothes <laughs> on and I went up the street from my house and uh, and Raymond and I went up there and we did, you know, shot some stuff. I thought, well, everyone else is having fun. I might as well have some fun. So then I started thinking about it and I thought, I wonder if any of my, you know, friends from the music industry would like to have some fun. And I made some phone calls and to my delight and surprise, really, they were all like, yeah, let's do it. So I got some great spots on Tanya Tucker, who I loved so much. And Crystal just was beautiful. And Rhonda Vincent, the queen of bluegrass. And uh, there's a band in there called Flat River Band. Um, let's see, there's Paul Overstreet. Waylon Payne, who just has a brand new project out on um, 
Spotify, and let's see who else is in there. Oh, the Bellamy Brothers. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Billy Dean and um, gosh, who Big else? Kenny. Big Kenny. I love Big Kenny. Yeah, he's, me too. He so got a beautiful cool. studio in his house. I love it. He does. He has a wonderful yeah. studio. And uh, I'm trying to think who all else was in there. I know I'm leaving somebody out. Oh, uh, T. Graham Brown. All right. T. T. Graham Brown, T. G. Shepherd, Kelly Lang, Ronnie McDowell. Um, just it's you just, almost had the whole music row people in that vis in that video. I know that it. is so cool. That Thank is you. so cool. And it was so sweet of them to join in too and join in on the fun. And it's just been fun to be able to brag on my friends and too mm -hmm. just how sweet and big hearted they were to join in. And you know, it's really just a song to lift people's spirits and. It's a song about, you know, how we can, what a world, what a world it would be, you know, if we could really be that way. And I exactly, think exactly. And the, um, the shots on the road down the street from your house, that is so gorgeous. Thank you. You know, it's uh, really it's, beautiful. It's, thank you. It's right across the street from where I live. I like that shot because it makes it look like I live in that place. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, I mean, I have a pretty place, but the, I do love that house across the street. And if you go down about another block from my house, guess who lives there? If you like NASCAR, uh, we got Daryl Waltrip in the neighborhood, too. So. All right. Yeah, cool. A, I love him. Very see, cool. So we got some people here want to say hello. Okay. Uh, Rafael Sa Saracual uh randall james hey randall uh mm -hmm. rosana salcedo miranda these are names in spanish some of them okay. renee wim sheila gregory tiziano busi and over here we got bethany foiled she said oh. hey i'm here i see that uh -huh. bethany. and then we got bruce uh i don't know how to say the last name bruce tarletsky Okay, <laughs> yeah. and Remus Ship Soba. Uh, hello, everybody. If you have any message, if you want to say any questions to uh, them while we're here, go ahead. Shoot, she's she will answer. And <laughs> us to everybody on the Spanish. Oh, side. nice! Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, so, um, Boris Sanchez says hi to Deborah. Boris sent you a hi. Buenos dias. Uh, Boris is Cuban like me. Okay. And he's also doing a TV show uh, at 8 p.m. called uh, Ispa TV Digital. Yeah, I think I've seen Boris on Facebook, right? Yes, yes. I, I broadcast uh, my show on his um, page and he broadcasts his in mine. So we're trying to cross post and uh, help each other out. Yeah, I like that. That's great. Yeah, I think y'all have a great thing going. I'm so excited to be on there and to reach out to your audience, too, because especially on this song, Shayla, because it is called What a World, What a World. Mm -hmm. And we're just all, all connected, you know, we're, you know, it's like, true. Yeah. So it's just, you know, we're all we're just all human beings here trying to figure out how to survive and love and be happy together and and uh, and i think i think what y'all are doing is incredible and and i really appreciate you having me on the show so i can share the message too oh thank you and and you're very welcome i had uh several people uh written reaching out because they have written songs related to the times that we're living and yeah. i said come on I, i'll be on for 30 40 minutes if i need to uh and i'll be happy to share the message uh, hey guess what um oh i wait finish your thought before i say hey guess and what? uh i have shared about four different music videos now um you know facebook will send me a message later saying that i have you know don't have copyright to the song so i had to do uh a um how you say uh yes you gave me the right to use it so uh, yes. I had to do a claim, yeah. You have um, permission, definitely. Yes, me to spread and, that. and the and the same same for YouTube. I had to post uh, creative comments so they know that I'm not stealing your music. No. So uh, in the digital age, where all, every musician is trying to share their music and get paid for their music, <laughs> yeah. I understand the copyright issue. 
-hmm. and i want people to know that i'm trying to be a vehicle to help every musician to get their art across and That's to get right. known and uh, be able to support them as as well as they supporting me for doing this well to me the message uh is just as important as the money you know if not more important so you know, and I just appreciate you getting the message out there. You know, that it, what a world, what a world it could be, should be, can be, will be. You know? Yes. yes. Hey, I wanted to brag on my cousin for a second. The the artist in the video is my cousin from Memphis. That's another thing. Right after I decided to, to go ahead and put this out, I called my cousin. Her name is Lori Cook. And she, I saw this beautiful painting she did of the Memphis Bridge. And she's got this kind of quirky, colorful vibe, which you picked up on. And I said, oh, Lori, I, I wish you would do a painting for me that depicts my song. What a world, what a world. And, and I she, was going to ask you about it. Yeah. She said, my mind's already spinning. Let me show you. She said she gave me this as a gift. She gave me the painting that she painted. Oh, wow. Wait, we need to. Uh, let me see. How can I make a bigger uh, not me for you? OK, there you uh, go. Yeah, wait, let's see. How do I hold it? Uh, oh, I this, this this, this, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that so beautiful? That is gorgeous. I just love it. It's what like, does it say? It says, um, let's see, it says, I'll be here for you just like you'll be here for me. We are kin to one another. And it says, what a world. And then it says, peace. And then down here, she's got red, yellow, black, and white people. You know, just little stick people. But it's just yeah, like, yeah. in her quirky, passionate way. And then she's got these beautiful roses. She knows I love roses. And then there's the earth with a great big heart in the middle of it. That is just amazing. Incredible. I love uh, it. And I love if, you, if you can take a picture and, and uh, send it, then I can post it under the video and in, inspire people to go watch the video and share yeah, it. I surely will. I'll do that. Okay. I'll do that. But yeah, she's so sweet. And she's just got so much passion in her painting. And uh it's every little it's not like we booked a day and went out and shot a video this video yeah. has kind of evolved over several you know weeks really and my friend yes. mark nicolosi he's a big time editor he was just like well send me the pieces girl we shot it all on El iphone 11 pros and, and but the quality is so you know what i was watching uh this thing about lady gaga and it said Lady Gaga's brand new video, all shot on iPhone 11 Pro. And I thought, well, shoot, I'm just going to go <laughs> out and shoot something on my iPhone 11 Pro. And that's yeah. What yeah, the, it, the video looks incredible. Who edited it? Uh, my friend, Mark Nicolosi. And he's, he's worked great on job. all kinds of things. Uh, Tim McGraw, uh, Dwight Yoakam. He and I have co-directed uh, videos together of mine in the past. He's super wonderful. And you know, because of the message too, he just, you know, was did it all out of love. Yeah, it's incredible. I love the montage and everything. It looks great. Mm -hmm. um, so Bordy says uh, that you are a great person, that he loves you because you're real. Oh, well, I love Boris's show too. And I love to come and see and him. He so and he wants to play your music on Ispa TV. So you got to send him uh, the link. Absolutely, certainly will, Boris. Thank you. And uh, Bethany said that you are incredible. Oh, yes, uh -huh. she is. Yes, yeah, I've known her for a very also, long time. Yeah, and she's also saying my cousin Lori is incredible. Yes, she is, Bethany. Bethany's incredible. Bethany has a, a the unofficial uh, fan club. I mean, it's probably more official than some of my official stuff. She's got more information on me than anybody I know. I think, but. She's a huge country music uh, lover, and she loves a lot of great artists like uh, Jeannie Pruitt and um, Sylvia and just a lot, Crystal Gale. And I feel honored that I'm one of the ones that she is, you know, warms up to and is attracted to because she, mm -hmm. she has a true love for country music. And so did Bruce, my other friend that popped up on there. He's a great songwriter and got big country music dreams of his own. Mm -hmm. Let me uh, uh, give me a couple minutes, not one minute, not so much. Uh, okay. I'm going to tell people about you in Spanish a little bit. So because okay. we've been talking for 25 minutes I, almost. I, and I, was I, to, to, <laughs> I, I have a few words, but not many. 
Bueno, Débora Allen es una cantante y compositora de, de mucho reconocimiento en, la, en el mundo de la música country aquí en Nashville y en el mundo. Y escribió esta canción que se llama What a World, Qué Mundo. Y eh, colaboró con varios artistas famosos también, Billy Dean, Big Kenny, Bellamy Brothers y otros que ya yo conozco y que vieron en la pantalla. Eh, una eh, prima de ella hizo una pintura con el mundo dedicada a ella y al video musical, durante la, el video musical usted puede ver la pintura mientras que ella está pintando y el, el, la pintura es el mundo con personas de diferentes colores eh, diciendo que todos somos una raza, todos somos unidos y está pidiendo paz y armonía. Uh, eso es básicamente lo que dice el video. Y eh, estoy muy feliz de que ella esté aquí con nosotros compartiendo este mensaje con todos ustedes y también eh, eh, lo va a compartir con Boris en Ispa TV Digital. Ok, that's it. That's uh, like a nutshell of what you said. <laughs> that's great. Uh, hey, listen, I just thought of something else, too. Uh, my hairdresser's in there. She's got a salon called Salonitas. Her name is Katie Marion, and she's from originally from Iran. I love her. And then also our little granddaughters are in there, too, dancing around. And my mother. My mother's in there. She's in there with her boyfriend and her white poodle. I mean, it was just all the people that I love and new friends that I made and, and great country music uh, singers and songwriters. Oh, yeah. It's just with so much. You fun. have one person missing in that video. Raymond, my husband. Well, that makes it, that makes it two. Yeah. Okay, who is the other one? Me. I know, Every, you know what? When we started editing it, I started right as Mark was saying, okay, we're wrapping this up. We're, this is it, Deb. Because I kept sending him more people to be in it. He said, okay, I think I can get them in. He said, we're wrapping this up. Well, right before we wrapped it up, that's when I was, we were talking to our daughter in Little Rock, Arkansas. And I said, tell the girls to dance and I'll get them in. So I slid them in there real quick. But, <laughs> Shayla, I am so sorry. I tried to think of it's, everybody. Hey, it's look. okay, baby. I'm just busy. Hey, you know what? Let's do part two. We can okay. do this. All, we could do this all again and do part two. We, we can do it. We can do it in Spanish. Let's do it. Now, wait a minute. You just hit on something that I've been thinking about anyway. Okay, we could. But you know what? I was talking to Raymond the other night. I have a song called Two Shades of Blue, which is on my okay. Delta. Greenland album and actually uh, Susie Boggess and Chad Atkins did it as a duet but it's always been one of my favorite songs to sing but it's got this kind of a Spanish flavor to it and I always thought oh my gosh I would love to translate that and do a version of it in Spanish that would be so much fun but yeah we could do a sequel to uh, yes come on let's do it you got me in I'm signed up okay well I'll have to have a translator now hey I'm a songwriter don't you know okay. that Okay. Right. <laughs> okay, we got a long message here from uh, Bethany. Let's see. Oh, it took almost the whole screen. <laughs> I got Deborah's name tattoo on my back. Oh, what? <laughs> Deborah is a light in the dark world. Made me laugh when I didn't want to. God put a smile on country's music face when she was born. Love her to pieces. Thanks for having my back, Deb. Oh, wow. <laughs> So sweet. Wow. She, that she, is so beautiful. Yes. Very much so. Bethany, I love you. And I you know I got your back, girl. And Ispa TV says, Deborah, have an amazing book voice. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. So um what what's next for you? What are you planning? <laughs> Oh, let me put let me put a little word out there on a charity project that I've been working on. It's amazing, and I think your listeners would really like it. Uh, it's called TAPS, T A P S, and that stands for Tragedy Assistance Program for Survivors. And a lot of Nashville songwriters came together, and we wrote songs with the surviving members of Fallen Heroes. Oh wow! So, Ace, what is the website? It's called taps.org and there's a brand new album out. It just launched about a week or two ago. It's called love lives on and it, it, there's 10 songs on it on there. And each song is a true story about a fallen soldier. Written so uh, can you spell that? T A 
TPS, Tragedy Assistance Program for Survivors. That org? Dot org, yes. Okay. And I think you'll find all kinds of things there. They really do a lot of help, do a lot of things to help the family members who are left mm -hmm. behind. My, my uh, person that we wrote with, I wrote with uh, Greg Barnhill, great songwriter, and um, Preston Brown's family. Um, his mother, Stephanie and Shay and CJ, uh, his sister and brother. But the song that God gave me the title uh, was called Press On Preston. And, oh. and it just came together so, so beautifully. And the thing about it is he is pressing on because unfortunately at, at that turning point where he was, uh, you know, it was obvious he wasn't going to stay with us. His mother had to make that decision to donate some of his organs. But Preston wow. living in five other human beings, uh, a 70 year old man has his heart beating in him right now. Wow. That is like that movie um, uh, with uh, uh, Wilson Smith. Uh, no, uh, uh, Smith, but it's not Wilson. It's uh... Will, Will Smith. <laughs> Will Smith. Will yeah. Smith, where uh, Seven Lives, I think it's called, yeah. where uh, he tried to donate his organs to people that, you know. Yeah, I'll have to go back and watch that. But yeah, I like that. And it's really, and it really is their true story. Yeah. And so that's something I'm very, very proud of. And the recording of it was incredible. It was produced by Frank Myers and Jimmy Nichols, which they also co-wrote the uh, title track with Richie McDonald and Bonnie Carroll about her husband and that loss. But it, there's so many poignant stories on there and fun stories too. Billy Ray Cyrus is on the album. A lot of great artists that I got, you know, I was the artist that sang our songs. So I'm really proud of that. And then the other thing I'd like to mention is that I am doing a series of EPs. Volume one is out. That's what, what a world is on. And cool. it's it's called The Best You've Never Heard from Deborah Allen. The album, it's it's a six song EP, volume one, and there's going to be 12 of them in all. So I'm pretty excited. Uh, that's a fantastic. I'm going to put your website up here uh, so people can uh, go check out your music and uh, your coming albums and everything. And, um, you know, this is what I love about you, that you are always working and always giving back. Uh, I love that you're supporting a, a nonprofit organization uh, to help others. And that uh, that's what is important anyways, you know, always give back. Absolutely. I mean, I was just, uh, you know, I, I've really been doing this for a long time. You know, I was mentioning to you that I, I was very touched recently when I got this big award and proclamation from the Tennessee governor for my 40 years in the music industry. But Shayla, what I really love about it is, you know, of course we all want to have a hit record out, especially when we're first starting out, you want to do good. You want to build a following, but after all those years go by, what's really incredible is that you get opportunities to do just that, to be able mm -hmm. to get back. So I was thrilled when Frank called me and invited me. Yeah, that's fantastic. And congratulations on the 40 years. Yay. <laughs> to 40 more. When it, you know, thank you. It feels like just yesterday when I was, when I And you still look 15, so <laughs> you can still do it. <laughs> well, I feel, I love, I still love to sing. I love to write. Like I said, I'll write a song and not even mean to. And I love to travel and perform. So I'd love to go on one of those road trips with you to go to Cuba. That's yes, let's do it. Let's make it happen. <laughs> they lift the, the chains off of us. We'll go down there. Yes, yes, definitely. Well, in the meantime, you stay safe. Keep on writing. Keep on singing. And I hope I can hug you soon. I hope I can hug you soon, too. Here's here's a hug. A virtual hug is strong. Yeah. And I love you. And take care. And I'll see you soon, okay? I love you very much. Thank you. You're very welcome. All right, everyone. Uh, I hope that you enjoy uh, their uh, music. Go check her out, and uh, I put the music. The I will put the link later to the music video on my page, so you can go check it out, along with the picture of the uh, the picture that uh, her cousin painted for the video, uh, so you can check it out too. So.
before I go today, I want to tell you uh, something important. Um, this is for the Latino community anyways. Uh, for this Wednesday, there's going to be a webinar for small businesses. I'm going to repeat this in Spanish. Antes de irme, quiero decirles que si quieren eh, compartir, ver el video otra vez, si se lo perdió, voy a poner el enlace un poquito más tarde para que lo vean eh, conjuntamente con la pintura que su eh, prima hizo para el video sobre el mundo. Eh, y este miércoles habrá una conferencia, un webinar eh, con Fabián Verne eh, el miércoles 17 a las 10 de la mañana con una abogada, no sé el nombre, no tengo los detalles específicos, pero estoy esperando que Fabián me los mande para mandar, para ponerlos aquí, eh, con una abogada sobre los derechos lo, lo, legales, laborales. No pueden hablar hoy. Sobre los derechos laborales. Eh, también estuvimos hablando con el doctor Jehanger y uh, la mayoría de los casos reportados hoy de infectados del coronavirus son de tres códigos postales en ANIOC. Eh, bueno, esperemos que no sean, bueno, esa es la sospecha, pero ya ustedes saben lo que yo pienso, lo que le he dicho millones de veces, que se cuiden. Eh, y que está trabajando con la organización de Siloam para ayudar a las personas que han sido eh, diagnosticadas con, con el virus para aportarle, eh, ofrecerle alojamiento y comida en, en caso de que sean positivos. Así que eso es todo lo que tengo que compartirles hoy. Eh, nos vemos mañana aquí a las 3 de la tarde. Y esperen que, se, como siempre les digo, cuídense mucho. Y recuerden que una familia informada es una familia empoderada, como dice Rubén de Peña. Por favor, recuerde de... Eh, Déjenme enseñarle, ajá, de ir a esta página web, tenesipromesa.com, para que asegurarse de que usted está haciendo todo lo correcto para preparar su negocio, para reabrir. Y ahí está toda la información en español. Y si usted va al programa del viernes, creo que fue el viernes que hice el programa, ahí le dimos detalles de cómo encontrar la información en español. Um, de todas maneras, cuando usted vaya ahí a esa página web, usted sube toda esa página y abajo va a ver donde dice, vean la información en español. ¿OK? Eh, si desea hacer publicidad en mi programa, vaya aquí a esta página web y compre su publicidad ahí. Y sígame en todos los medios sociales, aquí en Entertainment Circle, Instagram y Twitter. Y en, Uh, ah, y quiero darle las gracias a los nuevos seguidores que tengo en YouTube. Tengo cinco nuevos seguidores uh, en la página de YouTube. Muchas gracias. Y si se perdió algún problema anterior, aquí están en mi página de Entertainment Circle o en mi página de, en mi canal de YouTube. Así que eso es todo por hoy. Uh, thank you so much, you all, for tuning in. Uh, we'll post the link to Deborah's video. And remember that to take care of each other, follow me on social media. I already posted the links, but if you miss it, here they are. And uh, thank you for subscribing uh, to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you tomorrow at 3 o'clock. From my house to yours, de mi casa a la suya, la digo, chao. Que tengan buen día.